Yes. <laughs> uh, what what drew you to creating this this healing staff? So I do shamanic um, healing modalities uh, and. I have always been drawn to the caduceus and um, the archetype of the symbol of the two snakes on a staff kissing the pine cone. And so while I was at mystery school, um, I connected with a shamanic tool maker. Her name is Nancy Blyer. And I asked her, I commissioned her to do this caduceus for me for my 50th birthday, which was in 2020 during the pandemic. It took her a year and a half to do it, and um, what you're seeing is her intuitive um, guidance from nature and from the guides that were talking to her to create what you see before you. And so what we have at the top is the crown chakra and the pine cone, which represents the pineal gland and the crown um, ascending up to the heavens. You have the female and the male uh, vibrations, uh, masculine, feminine. And then uh, usually you have on the caduceus two snakes that kiss the pine cone, so that's represented here. And moving down um, the life purpose point, um, the third eye, the throat chakra, the, this one here is actually the soul point, which is just above the heart chakra. This is the heart chakra with both the um, rose quartz and the green. This one here is the dantian. And we have the third chakra, fourth chakra, I'm sorry, second chakra, the sexual center. I love this one because it looks like the, um, the yoni, the, the, the clitoris that is oftentimes called the flying serpent. This is the root chakra and this is the earth star chakra. So I can use this in many different ways. Um, I can lay it on someone's body, they can hold it where it resonates with them, they can um, bring it to their body where they need healing. Uh, sometimes people will bring it to their third eye, I demonstrate that. So you can bring it to your third eye and feel the vibration running up and down with the kundalini energy. Um, you can also, oh, this is actually to sweep the field. So the, any tassel is a um, symbol of clearing the field. So that actually clears the field. Um, my temple in Santa Cruz is called the Peacock Temple. And so I um, have as my totem the peacock which is all about transformation and transcendence. And yeah, I really wanted to provide a way for people who didn't know how to heal whatever is you know going on with them to just hold something as a tool and receive nature's gift of healing. <laughs> And I love it. It's its debut because I got it during the pandemic and this is its first festival. So the more people who interact with it, the more people who hold it and use it for its purpose, it becomes more and more powerful and helpful to the healing of humanity. <laughs> Rick.